Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we have actually a few things that we're going to be going over in this video, which is going to be the uh, Thousand Above Rosanna. Some is just basically saying that that's going to be dropping with the Ichibe, Kirio, and Senjumaru on the 30th. And then we have the Power Up Campaign Round 1, we have the Gardens of the Rollers Palace for the point event. Uh, we have a connection issue, which... I mean, it's whatever, it's just five hours going into your inventory, so we won't talk about it. We have an event support pack, which uh, I'm going to say right now is a scam. Do not touch it. It's awful. And then we have the Yuha uh, Epic Rare returning. We have the Limit Breaker quest. And then we have the Squad Zero TikTok campaign thing that I'll just briefly go over. But either way, if you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe, and let's just hop right on into the main one. I'm not even going to go over the Thousand of Blood War. We already know Ichibei, Sendumaro, and Kirio are dropping in a day's time, or about... 10 hours by the time I drop this video most likely but into the power up campaign I saw this and was actually kind of curious and then I saw what it actually was and I was very disappointed I'm not gonna lie uh, it's nothing really coming besides like orders that you can do to get a few materials and that's basically about it but it's from here it's from the first to the ninth for round one now there is going to be multiple rounds hopefully there's like four leading up into the end of the year but I assume it's just gonna be two rounds I saw this and just kind of chuckled, played to the finish in the arena times 10, and you get one 4 slash 5 star accessory ticket. Very cool. Uh, and then you, if you complete all power of campaign special orders round 1 for a quest slash arena, you get 10 spirit orbs, so it adds up. <laughs> Might as well. We also have the beginners campaign during the period shown above. Beginners campaign special orders will be available. Clear orders to get your hands on the items required to increase your player rank. So if you clear these, you will get. Uh, if you complete five brain battles, you will get a tension tie for heart. Uh, if you use 15 soul tickets, you'll get a Hojikuzai, the healing item, which is for heart as well. Uh, if you complete 35 brain battles, you'll get 10 editing brushes, and obviously editing brushes are used to reroll your accessories. So if you're fairly new, they're not bad. I have because I believe all of these are mainly for the level the uh rank reward levels so that way because i've seen people literally not be able to pull attention tie after thousands of tickets somehow which is kind of crazy we have the friend point campaign uh the amount of friendship points awarded for clearing the single player or a co-op version of the path of friendship will be doubled during the above period that's pretty nice i guess nothing crazy and then you have a choose a six star summon ticket which i think should be for everyone but I guess it's only for newer players. They needed more anyways. But uh, players who are just starting or those are who are eligible for the Welcome Back Login bonus will be sent a Choose a 6 star ticket in your inventory. So make sure you check that. Uh, players eligible for the Welcome Back Login bonus will receive their summons ticket at a later date. The distribution, the, dis the distribution timing may vary depending on when you log in. So we'll make an announcement once the distribution is complete. Now this is what really caught my eye. Because I was like, oh, a pack with a ticket. Uh, is it going to be something good? And honestly, it's not awful. But it definitely could have been better. So it's from the 5th to the 31st. And what you see here is you get one ticket. And then I love how that says free on all of this stuff. Like, okay, buddy, you're definitely giving this for free. Uh, you have 500 spirit orbs in total, basically. And then you have one golden ticket. And this, uh, this is the ticket. Now... I'm pretty sure you can't choose who you want. All right, here we go. So I was looking for where it said, but this pack contains a choose a five star summon ticket. And right here, the choose a five star summon ticket uh, allows you to choose five characters from the available character list. You'll then receive one random character. And in my opinion, the only one worth even like thinking about getting this is the Okiara. The other characters like Momo is a good character. Not worth this though. Kagurosa is a good character in Guild Quest. And honestly, that's realistically about it. The other ones are like very niche, to be honest. I know Apache had some shine in the hard guild quest back in the day. But nowadays, I don't think any of them are really worth it. Same thing for the other ticket. It is essentially the same exact thing. All right, so you will draw rates for the six featured five-star characters and all five-star characters in the summons pool. So it's not even a choose. You can't even select. But uh, these are the characters. And oh my goodness, they're all horrendous. There's one decent character for guild quest one potion farmer and then the rest are no so yeah do not uh, do not buy those not at all it's not worth it at all and then they have the rookie special training event coming out by uh, the 30th all the way to the 9th rookie special training extra will uh we will be available once per day this quest gives you out far more than the normal amount of, uh, character xp and is a great chance to earn exp for powering for characters 
I never use this, but I know a lot of players still struggle with leveling up their characters, so this could definitely help out, especially you newer players. And now we have the Power Up Festival from the 30th to the 31st. Uh, Hogiku drop plate times 5 for Urohara shop training. Hogiku will drop times 5 is in droplet tra trials. The Crystal slash Jewels times 2 is in Urohara shop training grounds. And then droplets times 2 is in droplet trials. So basically, all of these happen once a week, and then they're gone. Not going to farm any of these considering the uh, epic grade is going to be coming out. Probably going to be farming IT and Chronicle Quest. And we might also end up getting the end of year event where we are going to farm that like absolute mad. And then that is it for the power up campaign. Uh, next we have the Guardians of the Royal Palace. Which as you can see they're all like core one characters. Because this is Ichigo literally like who just got done fighting against Yuha Baha. Uh, this is when they come down from the... Royal Palace, which is weird that we got like core 2 like attack animations and stuff for the Senjimaru, Ichibe, and Kirio, which is so it's just like kind of weird, but eh. Also, I think we get a new Forcer Shinji, which is pretty cool. And then these are the bonus characters, so I guess that's what the uh, packs are for because there is a pack where you can get this character, the CN, I think all of, all of them actually, all of them besides like you know the, the main three Senjimaru, Kirio, and Ichibe. Also, if you do note, uh, you can have one of these as a 5 star and a 6 star and if they can resurrect you can also keep them as that and they will count as an extra bonus character. So if, say for example, I think this Nozomi resurrects if you have her and then you have her as a 6 star, a 5 star and a resurrectable Nozomi that would count as 3 out of your phone's bonus characters in which you do not have to actually equip them you just have to have them in your inventory. Just a quick note, a lot of people never understand that, and I would like more people to know about it. Alright, and now it looks like it's a New Year Shinji. Okay, that's kind of what it looks like. Actually kind of cool. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Definitely going to save him and not sell him. He actually looks pretty cool for a 4-star. So that should be a free 35 orb. I just want to quickly show the event supporter pack. This is where the Nozomi, Koga, and Wonder Boys are. They're on this pack. So I guess if you're missing a filler character and you already spent money in the game, I guess you could get this. It's like 5 to $10. Not worth it to be honest, but... Hey, it's here. And then we have the Squad Zero TikTok campaign from the 27th until the 4th. We're holding a TikTok campaign to celebrate the release of the Thousand of Bubble Rosetta Summons Counter Attack. React to the campaign video that will be posted on the Bracelet's official TikTok page. The TikTok video receives 1,500 reactions, liking, favoring, sharing. I'm pretty sure it already hit it, uh, but it looks like we will get 1,100 EXP large crystals, uh, 10 Hogekus, 10 Hogeku Wills, 500 droplets of all attributes, and then 2,000 Link Stop potions for technique, heart, and speed, since those are the characters that we we're going to be getting. Uh, yeah, nothing too crazy, but it, it, it does help. All right, and now we have the Yuha Epic Raid, which apparently got slightly buffed. I believe his defense got increase and his attacks are going to be more annoying so do keep that in mind he is going to be here from the 30th to the 16th so it looks like this one is only going to last two weeks and then we'll get the awakened epic raid on the 17th to the 31st and then kind of curious if they'll bring back a new epic raid or, or drop a new epic raid for new year's or maybe they'll just recycle an old one which will probably end up being what happens but the u-haul epic raid returns furthermore we'll be uh, implementing an even tougher difficulty level for this epic raid use this new difficulty level to get even more raid medals than normal all right and so for the epic raid this is all it's going to really be um apparently the medals are doubled as well so that's pretty good uh, but these are the bonus characters and looking at this that means that these characters should return in some way or form uh either on a banner an individual etc etc i believe geo and uh the uh kensei are on a individual so that's already confirmed obviously edra was on one of the tickets or something uh so that means that the thousand or above round 16 should be rerunning this month sometime so that's pretty exciting sir, for some people who missed them if you're kind of curious only one worth it is the ichigo the other two are just okay and then obviously we're going to be having these three when they get added on the 30th and then these are the other characters uh so it looks like a spirits are forever with you banner is gonna be rerunning uh with the retsu Kinda wish it was the Power Kenny, but uh, probably a better thing for me so that I don't have to summon. Uh, looks like the Cow Society characters are going to be rerunning with the Grimjaw and Okiora. And then maybe so the looks like the 7th anniversary like swimsuit banner is going to be running. The, the banner before anniversary. Which, they're all really good characters, so if you pull them, that's a W. Uh, if they do end up returning, but honestly, it's probably an easy skip. So, 
it's whatever but those are the characters and then if you guys are curious by the way for the best uh familiar i have they're going to the toshiro and the kampachi pet since they give you a extra 20 percent berserker on your for each uh pet that you have you can get up to three so that's an extra 60 percent berserker and then you can enroll either full stem or even more berserker on top of that full stem is better but i don't like getting hit so i rolled berserker and the other ones are kind of useless besides just collection value but those two are absolutely must-haves try to have at least three in total of the Toshiro slash Kampachi since they're a really good accessory pet familiar and that is pretty much all the news we're just going to be getting these for the rewards uh do know that we are going to be getting the Yuha familiar so make sure to snag that in case you missed it but uh yeah that should be it for the uh epic raid and then if you don't know we are going to be getting the limit breaker quest i already did a whole video on who you should uh use or bring if you do have them so go look check out that channel uh or that video uh but yeah nothing too crazy some small little events the, the most interesting thing to be honest is the summons and the epic raid kind of curious how that's gonna go but uh anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you guys have an absolutely amazing day best of luck if you do consider summoning take care and peace out